And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Bandal Tree. It's our second anti-dragon deck. Uh, we're seeing a lot of dragons around right now after this newest balance patch. If you watched our last video with Thralls, you saw that we played against four out of five dragon decks. Expecting lots and lots of dragons running around. And so what we wanted to do today is show out some anti-dragon decks. It was super successful with the Thralls. We win 5-0. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that one, and we're going to try to do the same kind of thing here. We have a deck that I think that's going to be good against dragons in theory. Dragons are difficult to kill if you're just like planning on just like playing regular units and attacking, because they also play regular units, and their units are going to be a lot larger. They got really good combat tricks. It's a really hard deck to beat, and so you kind of have to play like some decks that have some cheap ways of winning i guess you could say like that some alternate ways of winning now thralls is just kind of like a combo deck that you can put a whole bunch of eight eights in play that's difficult to stop for dragons and that's why we are successful there with this deck the thinking is 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 not even winning through attacking winning through the bandle tree round start um you know win the game if you have summoned units from 10 regions so that's all we're going to be trying to do is just summon units from 10 regions try to block stay alive and have the bandle tree win the game so i'm thinking this could maybe work we have all 10 regions um in in here with different cards um you know like with all sorts of different multi-region allies including you know like house spider remember puts in a shadow isles unit along with the noxus unit and so on and plus we'll have the bandle city mayor and loping telescope help us find whatever regions we're missing and then obviously we'll have the bandle tree also create regions from the follow or followers from the regions that we're missing as well so hopefully with all of that put together we'll be able to get the the 10 regions really quickly because that's that's going to be the goal try to get those regions quickly all right so let's get to it let's play a bandle tree deck we're gonna go play five games in ranked and let's see if this could be a good strategy against dragons And yeah, we got dragons again. <laughs> Five out of six matches have been dragons now. It's crazy. I'm not even trying to set this up. That's just kind of how it has been. Um, I think I'll just send the removal spells back. I don't know. Maybe we should probably keep Scorched Earth. Then again, like Ravenous Flock's good against Shivana. Kind of the same with Scorched Earth. Um, maybe we actually send Fizz back because Fizz isn't important. It's just you know, it's just a Bilgewater card. But it's not an actual important card. All right, let's do that. Let's keep Scorched Earth and uh, send that back. Because we need to find Bandle Tree. And, of course, we also want to find Mayor and Loping Telescope. You best believe I don't play. Those are other important ones. The with their approach. Mayor, Bandle Tree. All right. We got the Mayor. Smoke, Ash, and Dragon Fire. Mm, I mean, I we we could kill one of these, you know, with Sentry Flock combo. Uh, this is unfortunate. I already have all three of these regions. This is a a poor mayor. The Tenor Terror, I guess, blocks the best. Yeah, this this was <laughs> kind of like the three worst options, actually. Cause those are like the three regions we have. Uh, yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? Pops, in your hat. I put it in your hat this morning. <laughs> okay, so we don't have Freljord. That's the one we don't have. I imagine they want to block Poppy. Good. I like making that trade. That's a trade I like to make. Uh, do I even want to play the Owl Cat? I don't think so. The Owl Cat, you know, just takes up more room. Like, where if I want to go, like House Spider, you know, we need the two spots. I don't know, I guess I stun. If 
Perfect. Life total high. Perfect. All right, so we're at six right now. See how you like it. So we have Freljord in hand. Railyard's one of the ones we need. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Let the blood boil, half dragon. I should probably just play this. And start making other ones. Perfect. Perfect. They are nothing. Those are three regions that we need. That's actually like the best landmark to create also. She spoke and the galaxies listened. All right, so that's whatever. I don't I don't care about that. It's just my scorcher thing or drawing two. All right, a scorcher. Ah, uh, give me a Frelly Ord. We fight for one Frelly Ord. So we need Bilge Water. It's possible we draw a Fizz. Fizz, Fizz. No Fizz. Unfortunately, all of our stuns, and like none of them are, are fast speed. So we gotta make the best block that we can to not die to overwhelm. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the best block we did, we can. Yes. All right. Good. No overwhelm. That scare. Well, without overwhelm, you know, I think I think we're good. And so we're just showing different ways to beat dragons, right? You know, you don't have to, you know, you're not going to win, you know, a 30 turn game. But all you got to do is just, you know, block well enough and have your bandal tree win it. GG's. Oh, not dragons, but this is going to be an invoke deck. You're, we're also going to start seeing an uptick in invoke because there was a lot of good buffs to invoke. So the problem here, so this is going to be a more difficult matchup for us. The problem here is going to be that... Uh, invoke spells, they can go find the 6-mana Obliterate. 6-mana Obliterate gets rid of landmarks. That card's going to be a problem. I think yet again we get rid of Fizz. I don't know, I could see kind of... I could see actually kind of keeping Fizz and, you know, being... You know, having, like, an aggressive start here. And kind of pretending like we're an aggressive deck. Uh... Uh... If we didn't have the attack token here, I wouldn't be playing Fizz, but... Because we could also play Fizz for zero mana round three, so like I kind of wasted a mana. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have Poppy attack a lot game. Thank you. 
I think I want to play the mayor. Okay, so we... <laughs> these are the three regions that we have again. How do we do that? We've, we've already played Bilgewater. We've already played Sharima. We have Demacia in hand. Uh, yeah, so these don't really matter. I'll just take this thing that's, like, big. I guess. Okay, so we need the Ionia card. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really expecting that to work either. If only the Playful Trickster got the cost reduction as well. If only we could have three mana Playful Trickster. So we could like attack with everything, bring back the Poppy whenever they kill Poppy. At least we know they don't have the Obliterate card, at least, from Slower Priestess. So that's good, I suppose. Still looking for that. They forced us to choose death or the blade. We made it. Yay. Vandal Tree? Oh, they had a Falling Comet! Wow! We made them discard the Falling Comet. Wow. They had it, so they got it from Scryer, right? You know, because both of these... So they have one Invoke card that we don't know about from this Lunari Priestess. I think it's this card right here. I think that's the Invoke card. Ugh. Well, that's too bad. Y'all think I should play Ren? Ren. I think being a 3-6 is huge. Believe or burn. I know your true heart. <sighs> so I think would have ate up Ren. Alright, they're getting a lot of invokes. I am planning on playing a Bandle Tree this round, but I don't really care to play anything else. Better take cover. It's majestic. I my mustache. All right, so we hope we don't hope we don't get the Ionia card. Night descends. I will be heard. Definitely hope it's something else. Oh, it's an Ionia card. Come on. Showtime. That's kind of cool. Tell me a story. Oh, you're right. We haven't played Noxus yet. You are correct. We have not played Noxus yet. 
There's something else. Freljord? Nice. Okay, good. We shall take Freljord. They're digging. They're looking for obliterate. Hopefully they missed. Yeah, the shark needed spell mana to be summoned. I didn't have spell mana. They're always lucky. Alright, so now that's nine. Because if I would have played the Bandle Tree here and then also gotten a uh, a Noxus card, I would have been sad. So what's the one region we need? Sure. No, we got Sharima. Our Star Springs at seven. Yeah, put him down to two? That's not much. Shadow Isles. Alright, we need spooky Shadow Isles. Do I cover up Star Spring? I'll probably cover up Star Spring, right? We're not actually winning with Star Spring, are we? Um, either silence the Scryer or get a Shell Folk in hand for old for card advantage for the late game. I kind of think I kind of think we're going for like wins on. You know, one way or or the other, either Bandal Tree or being aggro with them being at one, and so we're gonna just hurt their mana situation. And so they have to deal with Bandal Tree and spend mana dealing with Bandal Tree, but then they also have to spend mana and deal deal with all these things also. So they have to deal with both. And that's not easy to do. Yeah, because they have to spend nine mana on that. Obliterate those. Open attack can get him. Not stray. We'll probably get him. Yeah, so that's the start. Star star shaping. That's not enough. All right, Bandle Tree two and oh. Oh no, Ziggs Poppy! No, we're playing against Aggro. Good hand though. We have Sentry Flock to stop a Poppy, or a Ziggs. We have Protoporo that can block their one drop. Vandal Commando that can get us more one drops. This 
good hand. Doesn't mean we're gonna win, you know. We don't we'll have to see, but this is an ideal hand. You best believe I don't play. Explosives prime. Split. I'll do better this time. Guess I should play the bomber twins. On it and on them. I don't know if we're gonna have time for that frozen thrall countdown. Is this summon or play? Yeah, it's summon, right? Because you get the Shadow Isles one. Mm -hmm. Down to eight? Gross. Yeah, so I could be at 11 if I would have blocked with the commando. Astounding curiosity fly ahead. Oh, no, 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 no. But I also kind of just feel like we're going to need these bodies. We got any Nexus healing here? I had I had a good hand, you know. I can't complain about what I had. I had a good hand, but theirs was better, and they they did a good job around the sentry and everything. Yep, yep. I know you won the game. Good job, you won. I think we understand that by now that you won the game. So my my big mistake there was round two need to play the 3-2 to block instead of playing the elusive. Lurkers. Lurkers are good against dragons. If you want a deck that's good against dragons, it's lurkers. That's that's a, that's another one that's very good. So we're not playing that. This isn't really the great Poppy matchup. I'm actually going to just send Poppy back. Okay, we get another one. You like the house spider. It's a good blocker, but fearsome. Ooh, and then fearsome and two threes. Great start for them. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Great start for them. I turn it like so. I think we can do better than blocking a two three, but. My hat. Yeah, see, I wish they would have had this, you know, instead of the fearsome. Oh, you can't even block fearsome anymore. We have a stun card, so Poppy can block fearsome. So I can have I can have Poppy kill the hatchling. So I think that's my best card to play right now. I can help. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's. I guess that's a way to do it. 
where I need Freljord. Grab this Freljord. Hard. Is there any way... Is there any way, like, that this Aloof Travelers will make them discard Pike? Probably not, right? Discard Pike? No. That's too bad. <laughs> we tried. We need Shurima. We're at six regions right now. I mean, I could take this... I kind of want to Moon Glow the Bandle City Mayor. They'd obviously just respond. Uh, we already got these. Like, Sun Guardian can like be a big blocker for me. I guess. I guess it could be attacking. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Okay, so we're at six. Playing the Freljord card makes it seven. I think I play this thing. And just give me a blocker. I can't block this fearsome otherwise. for Pike. There we go. Now we talking. Now we talking. So, let's lead with Freljord before I try doing that and then uh, I guess I should should I just pass here? No, I guess we can't really pass. Man, they have so many pikes in hand. Oh, they have so many pikes. So yeah, so obviously I should have just pass. The third pike got me. All right, so lurkers again. We'll try not to get piked. That is the card. Pike's a good one. This hand's also a pretty good one. Really hope they don't have the fearsome card, but at least if, if they do, we have pokey stick. But right, like that's the one drop we don't want them to have. We hope they have the other one drop because they're gonna have a one drop. Oh, fearsome again. I want to see what they do before I make more decisions. Okay. I'm happy to trade here some. Little spiderling can trade with that thing. That's probably not worth. Probably not worth sentry, is it? Are you kidding me? Can you just make the bandle tree? 
I don't know. Let's, let's do that. Because that's the thing. Like they, we knew that they put something good on top, and and even though yes, I could have stunned that to keep it from attacking, we knew that. Uh, oh wow! So now they just get to. That's kind of it. Now they get to do that again. Yeah, now they get to Rek'Sai again with that thing. That's actually really nice right there. This mama is the beast mama. Like, they still would have attacked with the Treasure Seeker. So it wouldn't matter that much. So that card's Rek'Sai. He's done Rek'Sai. Not letting it attack. And so then it dies. That's the hope. I think I just pass here. Die. Maybe they miss Lurk? Ooh, what if they miss Lurk? They don't know what that card is. It's just going to be a random card. Oh, that better not be another Rek'Sai. Just regular Lurk. Regular Lurk. Okay. I'm going to save, save the Pokestick Stick spell mana. Playing Bandle Tree this round. Um. Just that they. I don't think they have another Rek'Sai, right? Cause if they had another Rek'Sai, they would have put it on top, so I don't think they have a Rek'Sai. Silver Wing Vanguard. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doesn't really help me block very well against big overwhelm things. Hmm. Want to play it so we don't make Demacia? I did play Fizz round one, yes. So we've drawn Fizz's two and three. Wait, this is terrible. I don't want to destroy an allied landmark. That's like the worst possible card to ever hit. Thank you, Maximus. Let's draw two. I don't think this is a skip. Whoa, we got another resub. So we have Maximus resubbing for the 14th month. And now we have Aslo resubbing for the 8th month. Thank you, y'all. I appreciate that. I don't think I can skip. Y'all think I should try it? Y'all think I can? I should risk it? Because obviously I don't want to make another Sharima card, right? So I'd like to play that card. Okay, chat saying it doesn't auto proc. I hope they're right. Summon. Yes! We did it. We figured it out. We figured it out. Look at us, we figured it out. I'll take the ball field. Baddies beware, mama. 
Mama's got a gun. <laughs> All right, we're getting them down. We only need two regions left. Freljord is one. Oh, got a much cheaper Freljord card. Gross. All right, so that's the first time Pike strikes. Alright, what region do we not have? We've already done Demacia and Bilgewater, so these don't help. Okay, but that'll do. Alright, so nice three and two. One and one there against the Lurkers. We were able to play a little bit better defense that time. And they they had their fearsome block immediately round one, that helped out. Not gonna lie, I was pretty scared to play that Shreem that Shreema card. <laughs> I was pretty scared about that. But it worked out. All right, so three and two with Bandle Tree, and we went one and zero oh against dragons, and that's kind of the key here. Is we we're playing some anti-dragon deck, so we're still undefeated against dragons. We got aggroed by a very angry um, Ziggs that you know had like the might with the overwhelm. So we did get we get we got aggroed there, and you know we got aggroed by lurkers also. So you know you you can get aggroed with this kind of deck for sure, but it's it's going to be just a good solid deck, and Bandle Tree is a really good a solid win con. Um, so, you know, if you want to play something uh, that's like what we've been seeing a lot recently, you know, you want to keep, if you have like the, the Bandle Tree cards and you've been wanting to continue to play Bandle Tree, you know, give it a try. I think it could still be good in this metagame. Really, the only card that was nerfed in here, I think, is just the Aloof Travelers. Basically, playing Aloof Travelers, one, because it's Piltover and on, but two, if people are going to be playing, you know, really in Souls and that kind of stuff, you want to keep them. We saw that it was Clutch coming in uh, against the invoke deck because it got rid of a obliterate the six mana obliterate card was uh just uh, was in their hand and we were able to get rid of that yeah i guess technically loping telescopes nerfed because you can't manifest another loping telescope I, you know that's that's true that's true with this deck you don't really want another loping telescope though you want different regions i guess with bandle tree so i guess that's a thing um you know so i guess that's that's okay but uh there we go all right, so that's going to be it for the Bandle Tree. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know with this new format. What decks are you really liking? What decks do you want to see? Uh, what about the new champions? Which ones do y'all really want to see me build around and everything like that? Hopefully, if you've been struggling with dragons, these decks today give you some good ideas of decks that are good against dragons. But that's going to be it here for Bandle Tree. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.